Setting dates in my courses can be a little challenging. And the reason it can be challenging is because when you set dates in the course content area, which is where I'm at, it affects what's going on in the submission review area, specifically with discussions, drop boxes, and quizzes. And so it's really important to understand how, when you set dates in one area, how it affects the other area, and then also how it affects what a student can view and access. This is a set of, of tutorials that will explain each of the different tools and even setting dates on modules. This particular tutorial is about setting dates on a Dropbox and what happens. So I'm in the course content area and if I set a start and end date on a Dropbox, so I'll set it on this Dropbox. I'm going to put it into the future of the date that this tutorial is being done. I'm going to put an end date on it and click update. So what you're going to see is whatever I do here will also affect what's inside the submission review area, which is what's important. So let's look at it from the student's perspective. What does the student see and access? So I go to the course content. What the student sees here, they see the project, but they no longer see the instructions of the Dropbox, nor can they click on it until the start date has been reached. So what happens when they go to Submission Review and drop boxes? In this view, you'll notice that again, I can't click on the link to the Dropbox, but at least from the student's perspective, it gives me an idea when this opens. And when this opens, it, then, I can, then I can click on it. So what happens when uh, the end date passes? So when the end date passes, and you'll notice on this item right here, this end date has passed. So if I look at this on the course content area and I go to module two, it looks the same. So it ended and again, I can't click on it. The only way that a student can get back to their submission is through the submission review tab and the drop boxes. So even though this is closed and it tells me it's closed, a student can go ahead right here and view their submission. They can actually view any feedback that they were, had received from the instructor, including their grade and what was done on the rubric, if, they, if there was a rubric on there. Now the other thing that you should understand is that as an instructor, when you mess around with the dates in the submission review tab area, so this one I have an end date of February 3rd, and if I go back to the course content area and go in back into module 1, you'll notice right here it says February 3rd. So I'm going to go ahead and change it in the submission review area. So I'm going to change it to February 5th. I'm going to click Save. So you'll notice that the due date changed here. Now what happens in the course content area? And notice it changes there. So if I make any changes here, it'll affect what's going on in the Submission Review tab area. If I make any changes in the Submission Review tab area, it will affect what, the what, what happens in the course content area.